Good morning, world. Sun is rising, and there's our CN Tower. Hi, Toronto. Hello everyone, this is Elif. Welcome to this week's video. Um, today I am working from home and I decided to film a day in the life of a digital marketer. Um, I actually work as an inbound marketing manager, which is a specific field within digital marketing. And I work with the B2B industries and I am um, working with a digital marketing agency and we work remotely so that's the reason why I work from home most of the days and sometimes when we feel like it we actually meet with the team in person but today's not one of those days and today's actually a Friday so we are ending the week as well and I am I'm quite excited about it I'm, I'm really looking forward to the weekend but anyway I decided to film a day in the life of an inbound marketing manager so that you see um, what I do on a daily basis, how my routine is as a person working from home and also what are the tasks and what are some of the key things that I do in my day-to-day uh, -day business life um, as a digital marketer. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. Right now it's about 8.30 a.m. I had breakfast, I cleaned up, um, I am ready to settle and sort of start like I'm gonna take the first 30 minutes a bit slow and just to go over like what I've received uh, since yesterday evening uh, I'm just taking a look at the emails not really going very aggressive until 9 a.m. I just want to allow myself that 30 minutes of time while I enjoy the coffee that I just brewed for myself here we go and I also wanted to show you uh, my workstation so it's pretty simple uh, just a keyboard this um, this thing to raise the height of the computer which is which I find really convenient and which has really helped me with my back pain um, that I had from sitting so so many hours um, my phone stand phone sometimes I use it as a second screen because I use social media throughout the day as well um, notebook pen uh, which I don't actually use that often AirPods, coffee, mouse, and nice view of Toronto. Like I just mentioned, I live in Toronto and I moved here around five months ago in August. Um, and just a bit of background information on the work that I currently do because I know it's a bit confusing um, from outside, like what, uh, what I'm doing in this marketing field, what I'm doing as a remote working person. And I also don't work full-time for one employer only. I actually had another uh, marketing job when I moved to Toronto and that company was based in Miami and I was their sort of Toronto headquarters and I was working from the WeWork office which is a co-working space downtown. Um, I worked there for about two months and then I wanted to really switch to a Canadian company um, and I also wanted to set up my own consultancy company so that's what I did and right about uh, the time when I was setting up my company here um, I had two clients those were like two smaller uh, project clients and around the same time I actually had this offer from um, the current agency that I'm currently working for 30 hours per week um, and I have the other client from my own consultancy company and I work with her for 10 hours of my week so that makes it up for the full time basically and I also have one more rather very small client that I sometimes work with um, so it's just like a few hours per month with her um, to help her get her business 
uh, going and give her some um, you know marketing advice on how she could grow her web website or how she could optimize her website or set up her social media etc so that's about it uh, for the explanation of you know the work structure that I have it's not a very regular uh, very standard one I know um, and for the 30 hour one that I am actually gonna focus for the majority of my time for today uh, I really like them like I am surprised that um, you know I was able to uh, come across this company with this incredibly nice team and a team of people who really really enjoy the same thing as I do which is inbound marketing and we really like um, working with HubSpot so that is one of the softwares that you will see uh, today while I'm working okay so first thing first let's sign into slack which is our uh, internal communication tool and let's set it to active okay so yeah um, slack is one of the major tools that we use on a daily basis and this is something that I really like using it's really easy to uh, learn it's a great chat program you can tag people you can send drive files etc etc so it's it's really convenient um, and it integrates with HubSpot and Google Drive so that is also another bonus and let's get into HubSpot actually so this is the uh, the look of the marketing dashboard for one of my clients and I'm actually gonna um, check a report that I was supposed to from yesterday um, and make sure that I fully understand that report and that is right here so sessions and contact conversion rate comparison yeah this is something that our client was tinkering around um, with yesterday and he didn't completely get it so I need to write him an explanation of what this graph is uh, showing <laughs> fun stuff so it's been a little over than an hour since I started working and I actually got a lot done because I'm really a morning person and I am much more productive in the morning hours especially if I start like at 8 a.m. maybe even earlier um, though because it's winter and because we don't uh, the Sun doesn't rise until like 730 maybe um, it's not the same in winter but anyway so like I started a little bit early as you guys just saw and uh, I want to also show you some bits and pieces of the actual stuff that I do and one of the things that I uh, just recently worked on just now uh, is editing an editorial calendar for a client um, so I want to just show you a sneak peek of what that looked like and um, yeah how I organize the the file etc so let's see it here is how the editorial calendar looked like I don't want to show you like all of the details of the topics etc but this is uh, something that I was working on for um, a client and we did I worked on um, their editorial calendar until the end of April so and I just noticed that I haven't changed these right here so I will do that um, so it's basically like uh, a publishing calendar has the dates months uh, if the publishing date actually changes from the plan date we will mark it right here um, yeah the format of the the asset that we're working on so it can be ebook blog posts etc and I have a long list of different types of assets right here if we're working on different stuff um, yeah and then if it uh, is directly related to um, a main asset you will see it right here it's marked and then the content title the, these are mostly placeholders but they're actually in pretty good shape so we might just end up um, having them as the actual ones and finally these are the categories that the, the posts or the assets will fall in yeah so that's uh, that's a quick sneak peek of an editorial calendar that I just worked on 
For those interested in going into the marketing field or uh, switching careers maybe or starting a career in marketing, I just want to take you through a few of the activities and key responsibilities that I have um, as an inbound marketing manager. Uh, it's a very specific field and I don't want to really get into uh, explaining that in this video. But just as a recap or summary of what I do on a daily basis and my day-to-day -day, uh, tasks really change. So yeah, today won't look like uh, yesterday, for example. So, so I'll just do a little summary of the things that are under my wings uh, at um, the agency that I work with. Uh, so one of the things that I do on a regular basis is auditing the websites uh, in terms of content, in terms of uh, the inbound approach that they have, um, seeing how the campaigns are connected, uh, and by this I mean uh, seeing all of the elements of digital marketing and how they're connected to each other, and if they're helping the buyers or the visitors to move along their buyer's journey basically so if they come to our website what are the next steps that they take what do they learn uh, what is the value that they receive from the content that we have on the website or from any of the digital channels the type of language that we use to educate the readers and if that language is actually helping them to uh, move along and be nurtured for the next steps that we want to to get them moving on our website uh, i know this may sound strange or unfamiliar to those who haven't been in this field but yeah buyer's journey is one of the things that is always in the back of our heads as digital marketers or inbound marketers and it's uh, it's it's basically one of the key things that we always focus on and have in mind when we are designing campaigns when we're designing when we're writing content for websites or digital channels it is now 11:20 and I'm about to get into a weekly status call with one of our clients uh, one of our key accounts and yeah it's a one hour call and it's one where we go through all of the activities of the past week solve any problems get any approvals that we need etc and move things forward <laughs> That was a very long call and a bit tiring. Um, lots of analytical stuff to do right after the call, so I did some of those things. I'll just show you a very quick sneak peek of those. I did a bunch of um, changes in the marketing dashboard that we have in HubSpot. I will show you a sneak peek of that too, and then I will just um, head to the kitchen to fix myself some lunch. I'm very hungry. Uh, here is what the marketing dashboard now looks like. I added a bunch of new uh, graphs and different combinations of graphs. This is this is this is one that I added this morning, but this one, the social media traffic and page views per session, and then paid search uh, and sessions to contact rate. Right? These are some of the new ones that I just added. I hope they will be helpful for our client. So I'm done with my lunch. That was a very, very quick one for today. It was maybe just 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so. And I'm already back to work. I want to finish the day a bit earlier today because I have other stuff to do. Having said this, this is one of the benefits of working from home plus having a flexible work schedule because you know my contract is on an hourly basis. So I'm able to, uh, you know, if one day there's more work, I can adjust it on another day and just um, fit in other stuff in my schedule as well so that's what I want to do for the afternoon and I'm already working and actually creating a summary for the client about the uh, items that we discussed during the call and then I have a few more emails to do and then I am hoping to leave the day there and uh, continue with some other stuff <laughs> Okay, so I am tired of sitting at the desk and I moved to the sofa and for the next one hour I'm actually gonna switch to working for the other client that I have uh, who works in the mindfulness and wellness and meditation uh, industry 
Uh, it's, it's really an interesting job and I love working with this client and she sent me a blog post for a review. Let's see what it is about and I'm actually really excited. She put uh, a featured image of beautiful donuts as the, yeah, as the start to the, the blog post. So yeah, let's see. I, I'm going to start editing that blog now. Here is the blog post with the pretty image of donuts that I just mentioned to you. Um, and the title goes, Have You Fallen Off the Wagon? How to Get Back on Track with Your New Year's Resolution. This sounds great. I, yeah, I look forward to reading it and editing it. A few pages. Yay! I just finished reviewing the blog post. It was a very long one. It took me exactly one hour. Um, I had a bunch of suggestions and changes and edits, but overall I think it is now in very good shape and we're actually launching the website for this client on Monday so this might be the first blog post that goes up on her site so it's it's a very exciting project and I might uh, tell you more about it in future uh, videos we'll see in five minutes I actually have a meeting with uh, two colleagues from the other work that I was um, working on this morning or earlier today. Uh, so that'll be a 30 minute meeting, hopefully not longer. And then again, I'll be back to um, other client stuff. So that is the tempo of the day. It's, it's pretty fast, intense. <laughs> My day is over. Uh, happy Friday <laughs> to me and to you as well if, if you're watching this on a Friday. So it is now 4.32 p.m. Um, I finished 32 minutes later than I was hoping to but in any case it's finished. I'm really happy that the, the week is over. It was a very busy Friday. It almost felt like a Monday. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the things that you saw on this video today and hopefully it gave you some information on how it is to work in the inbound marketing field in a marketing agency and from home so yeah if you have any questions about anything or um, or want to see more videos like this uh, let me know in the comments below and if you like this video please like it uh, I, it will make uh, my weekend even better um, and also subscribe for new weekly videos see you in another one bye bye